Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another Shekels for Your Thoughts. Sean McGill here. Yes, it's been a while since I've done my last video. I've been really busy watching over my three and a half year old. Um, my work has been on strike, so I've been off work for the last couple of months. As my wife's been working hard, busy, I've been here working too, watching over a three year old. And if any one of you have children and or a toddler, then you know it uh, takes up a lot of your time. But uh, it's been a blessing, I must say. God's been good. Um, yeah, so my wife and my daughter left for Peru on Sunday for a whole month. That is where my wife is from. And so they're there visiting family. And I usually go with them because we too also have a ministry down there where we work with children, we do crusades, we do vacation Bible school, uh, we do all sorts of stuff for hundreds and hundreds of children and sharing the gospel with them. But this time I just felt, and my wife felt the same too, that God wanted me here for whatever reason. Uh, like I said earlier, my, my job, the film industry is still on strike with the writers and the producers. And so I have all this time off where I'm just here now totally alone, not even with my precious family who I miss so much. But I'm just here to be all of God's, be focused on God. And the incredible news with that is God had just recently opened a door for me to um, possibly speak. Oh possibly speak sorry I forgot to turn my uh, ringer off here um, to possibly speak at a kids camp here in this park in this open-air preaching park that they do once a year and uh, yeah they they were looking for a speaker and and I said look I'm available I'm here for the whole summer, <laughs> ready to do the work of God. And so I'm going to be um, meeting up with the pastor possibly next week just to share what our ministry does with kids. And um, so God is pretty good. God's incredible. And I've got a word for someone. It's just coming up right now that if you feel that you have a desire to do something for God, if that's speaking, preaching, street ministry, or whatever it is, but it seems like the doors are closed and you're in a desert place or you're in a valley, that's a good sign, trust me, because I've been there many, many times, and, it's, and I've learned through those times or experienced through those times is that is where God is equipping you. And, uh, oh, I thought I turned my ring off. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. It's Brother Ray calling. Just as I'm... Here, I'll answer. Hello? Hey, Sean. <laughs> How are you? What are you up to, sir? Uh, I'm actually in the middle of doing a video, Shekels for Your Thoughts, and uh, you interrupted me. <laughs> oh, you're not doing another pre-trip video, are you? <laughs> no, we're going to save the date on that one. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that debate. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> ju just so you know, you are live, and uh, and uh, I'm not going to redo this video. <laughs> so everyone can hear you right now. Hi everyone. <laughs> it's Don't listen to this man, he's a phony. <laughs> <laughs> no, that I'm is just kidding. I know. That is so funny because uh brother Ray and I we're actually gonna do a uh, pre trip verse whatever trip he believes in, I don't know. But post <laughs> post trip. Um which so this is kinda like the sneak uh sneak peek preview actually because the viewers didn't even know we were going to do that um uh, i believe in a pre-trip he believes in a post-trip 
but we come together in agreement, even though I'm right and he's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so you viewers <laughs> this is funny so you viewers actually are going to get a sneak pre peek preview that we are going to do a video pre-trib versus post-trib yeah. and all in between yeah. but absolutely i'm looking forward to it it'll be fun yeah and we're not going to debate or fight we're just we're going to agree to disagree and and just share what other people believe so that's going to be one of our videos that we're going to probably do soon right yeah it'll be it'll be it'll be coming soon yeah absolutely whenever ray pulls up his big boy big boy pants and big boy pants <laughs> and wants him to beat me on that anyways <laughs> all right well i just wanted to check and see how you're doing but i'll let you get back to your video there sean yeah i'm gonna get yeah because the minutes are ticking and and uh, i only have so many minutes all right yeah. bless you God bless. God bless everyone, too, that's watching there. We'll see you guys all later. All right, brother. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, I am really going to turn off my ringer now. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it's on silent. Okay, so where was I? Oh. Brother Ray interrupted me. That's okay. That was so funny. Um, yeah, so God has been opening doors. And, uh, yeah, so if you feel that you're in a valley, just that is where he's equipping you. It's just like a soldier. He, uh, they don't send their soldiers out in battle without the training and being equipped. So, praise God. I don't know if that's a word for someone, but uh, just hang in there. Spend time with God and allow him to do the stripping and the equipping before he calls you out. Okay, with all that being said, I'm going to share with what's in my heart. Uh couple weeks or a couple months ago I was sitting at work and I was just looking at Facebook and I saw this post of this transgender kids camp coming to my city and my heart like sunk I felt this sorrow I believe I was even like crying and I was like going God like what can I do to to be a voice to stand up no more do I want to sit around and just shake my head I need to do something and immediately the Spirit of God downloaded like what I was supposed to do. And it was incredible. And God said, bring my word and bring my love. That was it. And he also showed me uh, not to debate, not to get into fights, not, in, not to get into I'm right, you're wrong. Because he showed me that that is one of the tactics of the enemy. That's what the enemy tries to do. And it, and it works. He uses that on believers all the time. And I've been there too. I've, I've bitten the bait many times where you're online, someone posts something, and immediately you're trying to defend your faith and say, no, this is what the Bible says. And then, and then now you're in this never-ending cycle of debating. I'm right, you're wrong. And, and the enemy loves that. And, and I'm telling you, and I'm being honest, the people you're debating with or trying to prove um, that you're right or the Bible's right in defending God, they don't even care. They don't care about the facts. Uh, they're just used by the enemy to keep you in a never-ending cycling debating. That's all the enemy wants to do. And so that's his weapon. Um, so what God told me was to go out, make a sign, and bring his word. And so um, so I was like, okay, God, I'm ready. But this kids camp thing, or this transgender camp thing, that's right from the pit of the enemy to pervert our children, is not for another few more months. So I was like, like I'm ready now. And can you believe within, I think it was a week or two, a friend sent me another post of another group that goes out and and they do these um, protests in the city and here I'm just going to show you um, uh, yeah they were coming in my city I think it was like the weekend or the next weekend so I was like yes I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be there I'll just show you these guys are awesome they are freedom Freedom Party of British Columbia. 
And this guy here, his name is Amrit. He leads the whole thing. And I was out there with my sign. Uh, as you can see, um, this is the sign here. You can pause the video and read it. So I made that. It was God's word. And I'll tell you what happened. I was getting honks. People came up. Even parents walked by with their kids and said, thank you for protecting us. Um, uh, within this group, they're not all Christian. They're, they're Muslims. There's Sikhs. But they loved it. They read the sign. And I was hugging them and different you know, religions and faiths coming together. And it wasn't about debating. It was just holding God's word. And there was even um, uh, protesters and hecklers of the LGBT community there trying to, you know, just a very little handful of them trying to come against us. And I just took the sign and I just held it. I just held it right there. And they read it. And I tell you, they kind of smirked a little and then they just left. They just walked down, down the road. Because God's word is powerful. It's a double-edged sword. It speaks for itself. And I know that those are harsh words. This verse that I felt the Spirit of God wanted me to, to share. But you know what? It's the very words of Jesus Christ, the creator of the whole universe. That came from his mouth. Anyone who perverts or harms our children, it's a serious, serious consequence. And so I believe that even when the LGBTQ protesters read that, it hit their heart. You could see their face. They, it, It's like they got convicted a little and they just moved on. So his word did what it did. Anyways, uh, I only got a few more minutes, so I'm going to move on here quickly. Um, yeah, so this group, I encourage you to go down. Uh, they, they protest every second week or they do rallies every second week. This is their next rally right here. They're going to be in Surrey, 152nd Street, 102A Avenue. From 12 to 3, they say bring signs, just uh, or bring yourselves. And, you know, they're all different faiths that are coming together. And I'm not standing for the ecumenical movement or anything, but... But you know what? I came. I was a representative of God. There's, there's, there's Christians. There's Muslims. It doesn't mean that we have to agree on what we believe, but we're not there for that. Just like what God showed me. Bring his word and bring love. And I just love them. And you know, oh, I'll tell you. A Sikh woman came up, saw my sign. She was there. Said, can I take a photo of that? I said, yeah. She goes, oh, i got to make a sign just like that. <coughs> so we started talking and she was sharing some things. And I said, can I pray for you? She said, oh, yes, please. I prayed for her in the name of Jesus. Her face lit up. It was incredible. After the prayer, she hugged me. She said, thank you for that prayer in Jesus. Thank you. I said, God bless you. Jesus loves you. And we're all here together to fight against this, you know, this evil soji. So I was so encouraged that I felt that, you know what? I'm going to go out even more. And I'll just show you really quick. I even had these shirts made. Look at this. Uh, I'll just get the bigger screen. I had these shirts made. How can I pray for you today? Simple. Not, I'm right, you're wrong, let's debate. And then there's our logo of our ministry in the back. So I got a bunch of these shirts made. And there's going to be a team of us going out on the streets. And just sharing the gospel. That's it. Just if people want to get in debates and da da da. Look, we're not here for that. We are here to love and to pray for you if you have a need. Um, this is where we are. This is where we're at. So I would encourage you get out there and be a voice. Stand up. Bring God's word. Oh, I just want to show you really quick. This was their last meeting, and it was a success. Look at all the people here. This is the crowd we have. It's awesome. This was in Abbotsford. Very good turnout. There is Marius. Hello. 
So you can see all the people there. 